I noticed this morning some analysis in the American press of decisions being made in China uh, to use this time in of economic difficulty, slowdown in the international economy to intensify investments in Chinese infrastructure, in transportation, uh, <clears throat> in human resource development, uh, in capital market development, uh, setting China up, resource acquisition, setting China up so that when we come out of the period of current uh, slowdown, uh, China will be stronger and able to compete even more vigorously in the international marketplace. Let me look at the several of you. What are India's plans? How do you plan to use this period uh, to position yourself to come back and then to reach out in the world? How do you, what priorities are you setting in your own minds? As Indian business, but also the very necessary partnership you have with the Indian government. So, in any order, I'd be very keen to hear you all comment on looking beyond the crisis. Uh, Frank, it's good to be here with you, uh, Anadisha Society, and thank you for that question. I think that uh, in the last 10 years, especially in the last five years, we have discovered a new quality in our private sector and in our entrepreneurship. And you see some of the successful private se sector business leaders um, sitting here around me. So as we go forward, I think I'm seeing um, private sector which restructured in the 97 to 2002 period and came out competitive and aggressive and acquisitive internationally, going through another process of restructuring, both in terms of their corporate governance standards because of what has happened in the world today and even in India, and also because of the need for reaching out for higher levels of competitiveness. So I think that process is on because the slowdown puts pressure on the private sector and entrepreneurship. And Indian entrepreneurship responds very well to pressure. In the early 90s, Frank, when you were ambassador in Delhi, we were going through the throes and pains of deregulation, liberalization, competition. And you will remember that the private sector were more or less being dragged to competition unwillingly. I think that's gone now. There's a new level of confidence when customs duties are reduced by the government as they were reduced recently in the interim budget. There wasn't even a, there was no whining. There was no complaint. There wasn't even a comment about it. It's, it's, it's a done deal now. So it's accepted. That was not the case 10 years ago. So I'm seeing a private sector re-emerging out of this slowdown even stronger than before. And I think they will respond to this pain as they responded to the pain of the late 90s. Second, I also see that just as we have been cautious in our financial liberalization, and unlike many other countries, our banks are stable, our banks are secure, because they have been cautious, they've been prudent in their policies. 